time interval. Hello kids. Today we shall learn about time interval. Let us begin. What do we mean by time interval? It is the time taken to carry out any activity. For finding the time interval for a particular activity, we need to subtract the starting time of the activity from the ending time of the activity. Let's understand it better through an example. Tashi went to play at 6.30 p.m. and came back at 7.35 p.m. How much time did she play in the evening? Here, to find the time interval of the activity, we subtract the starting time, that is 6 hours 30 minutes, from the ending time, that is 7 hours 35 minutes, to get the answer. On subtracting, we get the answer as 1 hour 5 minutes. Thus, we can say that Tashi spent 1 hour 5 minutes playing in the evening. Kids, note that the time interval for activities that get over within a few hours is called short time interval. Now, let's see how to find the larger time intervals, that is, when an activity starts at one time of the day, that is, a.m. or p.m. and ends at other time of the day, that is, p.m. or a.m. respectively, within 24 hours. Let's understand it with the help of an example. Ben leaves for office at 9.30 a.m. and returns back home at 7.45 p.m. How much time does he spend out of his home. Now, to solve this, there are two methods. Let's start with the first method, that is, by counting the time from 9.30 a.m. to 7.45 p.m. in three intervals. <clears throat> Firstly, count the minutes to the next hour, that is, from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m which is 30 minutes. As we have to count the time, till 7.45 p.m., we need to count the hours in between 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., which is equal to 9 hours. Lastly, find the minutes after 7 p.m. up till 7.45 p.m., which is equal to 45 minutes. Now, add all the intervals. Add the minutes, that is, 30 plus 45 minutes, which is equal to 1 hour 15 minutes. Now, add the hours, that is, 1 plus 9 hours, is equal to 10 hours. Look, we found the time interval. Now, Let's solve the example with method 2, that is, convert the time to the 24-hour clock and then subtract. Firstly, convert 9.30 a.m. to the 24-hour clock time, which is 930 hours. Now, convert 7.45 p.m. to the 24-hour clock time, which is 1900 45 hours. Now, subtracting the starting time of the activity from the ending time of the activity gives us the time interval. Thus, on subtracting, we get the answer as 10 hours, 15 minutes. Answer. Ben spends 10 hours, 15 minutes out of home. Kids. Try to find out the time interval for each of the daily activities 
that you do.